going to be drilling the 12 mil hole in this 5 mil stainless steel bar. Now this is extremely difficult to drill through stainless steel unless you do it the correct way. Now the hardest part about drilling through stainless steel is drilling the pilot hole and that we're going to be using some special stainless steel titanium plated drill bits. I'm going to be using a 4 mil, 4 mil drill bit. You need to use a pilot hole whilst drilling metal as if you don't and try jumping straight to the size drill you need then you're more than likely going to blunt the drill and fail in the process of drilling the hole. I'm then going to use a stepper drill which will take it up to the 12 mil diameter that I need. A stepper drill is essentially lots of drills moulded into one and as you drill down the further you go the wider the hole gets as it steps up to the next size drill. Now this isn't specifically for stainless steel but as I said you just need to get that initial hole and then pretty much any drill bit will be able to finish off the hole as long as you do it in the correct procedure which I'll be showing you today as well. Now the most important part about drilling anything is to keep the drill bit as cool as possible and um, there's two ways you can do that. You can use a lubricant like WD-40 or the better way I think which is using a coolant and for that I'm just going to be using some water and that's just going to keep the flat bar nice and cool which in return will keep the drill bits cool and keep them from getting blunt and also letting them perform the job they're supposed to do. Basically we're going to set this up to keep our flat bar nice and cool. For that I'm just going to use a tub. Now the reason for stacking up this flat bar on some chocks is obviously when I punch a hole through with this step the drill I don't want to go through the bottom of the tub so that's just to give it some space between right now we're just going to add the coolant which is our water only use a battery operated drill for this technique as you don't want to mix electricity from a corded drill with water. However, if you do have a corded drill, you can still use water as a coolant, but use a little spray bottle and spray it directly on the drill bit as you drill. Whatever device you're using, if it's a drill press or an electric drill like me, you want to set it to the slowest RPM setting it has available. For mine, I've set it to one, and I'm also going to be running at about 65 to 70% of the top speed on this lower RPM setting. As you can see above you do need to be a lot more patient drilling metal than you are when you're drilling wood as it does take a lot longer to break through. You do need to apply quite a lot of downwards force when drilling metal and you should be able to judge that on the behavior of the drill. If it's jerking or creating too much noise then you probably need to change up what you're doing. It is important that when you can feel that you're about to break through the bar that you slow down to about 35 to 40 percent speed as the metal is at its thinnest point therefore the metal can't dissipate the heat throughout itself very well so if you continue at a faster speed it will build up heat and it can blunt your drill bit this step is more crucial when you're drilling thicker materials but still try to slow down if you can every time you drill in the hole and now i can feel that i don't need to push down quite as hard so i know i'm getting to the end so I'm just going to slow down the drill, take my finger off the trigger a little bit, and there we go. And now we're just going to use a step drill to make that 4mm hole up to our 12mm. And you want to run the step drill at the same speed as the pilot hole. The reason I'm drilling these holes is for an electric bike that I'm building. And if you want to see how I built that bike, there'll be a link at the end of the video. Thanks for watching.